Hello everyone, welcome back to Patrick's Pear Box. Yesterday we made it partway through open, I forget if we like, uh... It doesn't look as though I tried a puzzle and then gave up. I probably finished this one and then left. I remember, yeah, I did this one and then immediately quit. So we could leave anytime we want and check out Flip. Mirror images of things maybe, but I'm gonna try the bonus puzzles in this area. This was a tough world for me. So let's see, we're just nested three levels deep, basically. Yeah, and we could confirm in Sokoban land, yes. All right. So what's what's the, the deal here? We have to get... I mean... Hmm. We have to get inside of world three. The blue one. That's easy. Here I am. Um, but I have to also get World 3... Out of... Well, no. I guess I can just... So... What I almost want to do, except that it won't work, is this. Now, oh, I didn't notice there are three, I, I see. When I was in Sokoban land, I didn't see the uh, the goal square that was under me. Okay, so you have to get all three worlds in here, just like the last one. And... You still need World 1 to be inside World 3 so that when you have finished setting up all the bot, Well, you need... Hmm. No. Wait. What? You need Worlds 1, 2, and 3 to be immediately nested inside of World 1, don't you? But that's obviously impossible. Well, it might be possible to do, but you won't win if you do it, right? Um, because... There won't then be any way to get you into World 3. Because these are all borderless. Um... Ah, no, that's not true. In fact, I'm already set up for victory, aren't I? World 3. If I push this left, it will push the 2 and then take the 2's place, and then I win. There you go, easy. What's going on here? I, I still like the Sokoban view for this stuff. So. Huh. An interesting arrangement of boxes. You can't be right here, huh? So. There are a total of four worlds. We need them all immediately nested within World 1. Currently, they're kind of telescoping, right? And... We need to be able to leave World 3. No. Well, okay. One thing that could be possible would be to leave World 1 and enter World 3. But we know, as we discussed in the last level, that that's impossible, because we need all four worlds to be immediately nested inside World 1, which means if you leave World 1, you're just back in World 1. So that's no good. Instead, we need to arrange things such that there's a block in World 3 that you can push out. Okay. So that sort of works if World 3 is here. And these two are already filled. 
So how do I, I mean, if I leave this, which is world one, I'll be in world four. I can push world one out into itself now if I want. Is that useful? If I leave four, I'll arrive in the middle of three. It seems like I need to do that. So you can, oh no, it doesn't arrive in one, of course. It arrives in, in here. But that's fine. Push it out. Do I still have a way to enter four? Hang on. I don't, right? Because nothing is inside of four. So I have to push four out here for sure, right? And now I do have a way to re-enter three, which is to leave one. So let's go get that four somewhere useful now. Now I'm inside world three. But I don't need world two anymore, right? So now I can push two out into one. Sorry. Push three out into one. And now levels two and three are just, oops, are just nested inside each other. Did I say two and three? I meant one and three. Um. So this is victory. Now see this world, this looks manageable without looking in Sokoban view. I don't know, having, having when there's a deep series of nesting, I, I like having it all laid out. And when it is that way, I don't know. I don't like the multicolored view, so, this view so much for some reason. I don't know. Uh, so what's the deal? We have... A total of three boxes and a total of three goal squares. So every goal square has to be filled with a box. Every box has to be in a goal square, rather. Obviously, every goal square has to be part of a box. That's the rules. Wait a minute. What's hard about this? Isn't this the easiest thing in the world? Ah. Right. So the issue is, I was going to just say, oh, of course, just push the blue box down here and then push it up. LOL, you can't do that. So you have to use this open space to somehow give you a way to... Turn around or something? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, just put them both in the blue, sp in the open space. And then push the open space into place. Or actually just load them up together while you're in here. No. Can't do it here. You gotta go down here. But that's fine. That's what I was planning to do anyway. And then I thought, I was like, oh, I have a faster way. And then, no, actually, I didn't. Oh, if I had to do this not on the left edge? Wait a minute. Is that possible? It's like, you can load it up. Okay, but you can't get out now, right? They're stuck in there. I 
And you gotta get one of them out. I think I'm just done. Yeah. Because I pushed them in here and I pushed them all the way to the left, but I didn't have to do that. I could have just left them wherever. I don't know why I thought it would be cool to push them all the way to the left. You can just do that. And then once you're done nesting them together, it's no problem to push it back out. Very similar puzzle, obviously. I guess in this case, well, probably not in that order. I think in this case, you just load them both up in here. To like that, probably. Send the whole thing over. Ah, I can't get it out, can I? Well, wait a minute. If I just bring down one of them at a time, then I think I can go back and forth, right? There's enough room in here to turn around. So I let this one out. Oh, it's stuck against the wall. I had to do it the other way around. Still isn't. It ain't. It isn't in there. It ate it up, but it didn't eat it up far enough. Silly. You silly goose. Now. This area has like these corner areas, but that's obviously if you put anything there, you're never getting it back. So this is just a line with a with a turnaround spot if you want to put something in there. So you can't bring two objects, right? We tried that before and it like doesn't work because there's no way to go get them. You have to push one to the side and then it's gone forever. So you can only bring one object through at a time. And when you let it, when you, when you take it out, it has to go against the south wall, doesn't it? Because you have to come out yourself, which involves pushing. Well, first you have to like push it outside the thing, which puts it here and you here. Then you have to move down, and that pushes it against the wall. Which, as we learned, if you put the box here and the goal area over it, is not enough. It doesn't eat this thing up far enough. Can you, like... Can you use this area as, like, a top wall to load these things into? 
somehow. Like, I, mean, I don't think so. But suppose you just push this stuff all the way over. And you can be like, oh, I'll push something up here and then later take it off the wall somehow, right? I don't see how that could work. Because you can't get in with both of them, right? Oh, wait, yeah, you can. I see. Let's do that in the other order. So put that in, put that in, go over here, nest them together, come back out, push the combined thing down, and now get it out. Have I done this challenge level? I think not, right? Oh, I have. It was this one, the, the variant on it, that left me flummoxed. Oh, wait, no. I, I don't totally know like how to tell. Is this solved? It looks like it is, right? Because it's the top left of these levels that are flashing. I don't remember how I solved this. This seems, well, I don't know. I guess that, that was the one where I, I put the exit down here, right? I um I said No, that's not right. <laughs> um It was something like that, wasn't it? But if I do this, it just like goes forever, right? <laughs> I don't remember, I'm gonna have to go watch the, the video, I guess, but it looks like I did solve it. On the other hand, yeah, I mean, this this looks familiar. I remember this horrible little beast. So I must have done that. Okay, moving on. Ah! That's it? This is the whole world? <laughs> it's... A little tough to get anywhere, huh? I don't know. That seems to solve it. <laughs> Whoa, what is this? Look at that place! It's full of boxes. Wait, what? Uh, each box is a clone of the level itself. That's why it looks so weird. I thought it might, but I couldn't tell. And then the fact that it, like, gets all fractal was... Probably should have been the giveaway. <laughs> Game doesn't like me zooming in that much. It gets all stuttery. Well, okay, there's only one possible first move, which is this. Hello. These moves all do nothing. So I guess try that. And then that? <laughs> okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I might not want to... Yeah. I might not want to push it all the way to the bottom yet because it's a useful clone to be able to enter from various sides, right? I don't know, let's enter this one from the top and... One of the big dudes from above? We now have to enter one from the right, it would seem. One more from the top? Okay, well, I think that's the most you can get. Not too tough. 
And we'll just leave this last one, uh, what is it? Open five for later. Let's go check out Flip. Uh huh. So it's showing you that indeed one is a mirror image of the other. How does this look in Sokoban? Ah, a slashed one. Got it. So if I enter from here, I'll come in through the right, I guess. Oh, whoops, I have to load this guy up, not get there myself. So I wanted to do this. Okay, let's, oh, there's a thing here. <laughs> yes, very funny. Now go this side, okay, good. It seems like I want to push it down. So go in there. Yeah, no problem. I'm king of flip worlds. There'll never be anything hard in this world for sure. Okay. So, wait, what? So like, obviously you wanna do something like this, right? Oh, well, transfer in there. Of course I can't because it would move away. So fine, I can like, I can transfer over here instead. But how do I do that while the pieces are over here? Which is what it seems like I must do. How does the world being flipped help me? Can I load these guys up over here? Doesn't seem like that's helped. <gasps> it's made flipped copies of them. Oh, interesting. Okay. So when I entered a flipped world before, was I not actually entering a flipped world, but rather flipping my own perspective? Where do I... Obviously the only like, well, that's not true. This, this enters a copy of this world, doesn't it? So I never actually get out into the overworld, right? Yeah, there's no way into one again. So I better do something with this. I guess means bring it with me. Okay. Oh, I was supposed to do something else? Oh, I can totally get out. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Of course I can. Just leave this world, silly. Okay, so just make a flipped copy of this and then ship it back out. No. Because now how do I get in? Wait, don't, no, that's right. What was I confused about? I just need a flipped copy of this. Oh no, the problem is I can't. Wait. I don't need a flipped copy, I need a normal copy. But I have to push it through here just to get it off the wall, which means I need to flip it twice, I see. So this makes a copy going the other direction of stuff. Oh my god. So what do I need? I need this to be flipped. This is looking good already, and this one needs to be flipped also. Wait. 
Wait. Oh, that's interesting. No. Did that happen? Oh, this one needs to be normal, not flipped. Silly me. Ta-da! Is this just making me realize that I can copy things by leaving the level as well? I did that already. If it's asking something else of me, I guess I'll find out. Oh, whoops. Okay, right, I can't push through that. I need to load it up first. Um, so, okay. This piece is oriented correctly. This piece needs to be flipped and then placed inside I thought this would go the other way eat up eat up this piece Okay, fine. Well, at a time while that is... Yeah, I can do that, right? But then if I flip this, won't they both flip? Yeah, see, that's no good. I thought... I thought the rule with... With pushing blocks into each other, well, it's been a while, I guess, when either one could eat the other. I thought, no, I guess the one closest to you does get pushed into the other, huh? I need to get this one, the one I'm above now, to be loaded up with this piece somehow. Yeah, now if I come out into this world, nothing else flips, right? Hmm. So if I can't flip this one first and then put this into it, I don't know, maybe I can and I'm just doing it wrong? against like the ceiling well no there's no place I can there's no place I can push things left I think right now this flipped both of them and that's not what I want right well wait a minute can I now that I've loaded them up that way I can flip them both again yeah, and that's the piece I wanted. Okay. What the heck? Okay, so there's a normal copy of the world here, and a flipped copy of it here. A flipped clone of it. So when I push a piece through here, I can choose whether it becomes flipped or not by whether I put it here or here. Okay, well. I have to push things through this one. It's the only one I can reach. How do I then, like, how do I get them separated? How do I get them off of this wall? Oh. I leave it okay hang on so 
So this one needs to be flipped, right? No, wait, that doesn't, this doesn't separate them. Ah, but when I push them through here, now I can separate them, right? If I want. That one did want to be flipped. but I still can't get them off the wall. So unless this is the very first piece I want, which it's not, I can't push it away. Okay, so I guess what we're doing is just doing this until the one piece that is transferable is facing the right way and at the bottom of the stack. Which is now, right? And then do it some more. Oh wait, do I want to push them out down? No, I want to. I want to keep flipping. Now, the piece at the bottom of the stack is still facing the wrong way. Now it's the right one, but I can't peel it off anymore, so I have to keep going. Do I want to peel that off? No. Do I want to peel this off? No. But maybe I need to? I don't think so, because if I push it down, it's going to necessarily be the next piece here, and that's just impossible. So I want, I want the piece of, okay, maybe, can I do this? Well, sort of. Now that one's right, but the one above it is wrong. If I push it down, it never goes back. So that's no good. Okay. I thought I might never get... No, I didn't get to the spot I wanted. So if I break that off, that's just no good at all. How did I get this one off? Well, I guess it was at the bottom, so it was easier, right? Can I do like... No. What the hell? Oh, can I push one up through there and then back? Yeah, but that... That's lined up all wrong, isn't it? It seems like the only piece I can ever let out is the, th the bottom one, right? And if I do that, it's facing the wrong way. Like, it's not facing the wrong way, it's, 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 it's not lined up, it's misaligned. And also maligned, because I hate it. And I'm saying nasty things about it. So... Is... Is there some other way to separate pieces here? 
the only way I see is when like they're near the bottom. By the way, it doesn't matter which of these I go through. Yeah, they're the same. So. I can enter from the bottom, that's what she said, and I don't know, like keep doing this. This is what I was doing before, and it doesn't seem to help. It flips these guys, great. Oh, solved. Did I just not wait long enough somehow? I, I think I must have missed the solved state a few times. Okay, not sure what that was all about. I thought if I just like kept pushing things up eventually or through, it would, you know, an opportunity would present itself, and it never seemed to. Oh my god, what the hell is this? What are these copies of? They're all copies of the same world three, the same blank space, but half of them are backwards. And there's a. This is the real world three, I guess. Okay, this almost looks like it might be easier. So this obviously has to get loaded in first. Now if I ever go up, I'm stuck. I can't get out, so we can't do that. I guess that's a problem, huh? Because stuff isn't going to come in centered. It's going to be like that. Well, that's fine, though, right? Because when I enter, when I finally enter this place, I can rearrange them however I like and get them out like this, for example, if that were what I wanted. So... If I just push this one into the normal world three, then it's gonna be oriented wrong, right? Correct. So we push it into the copy. Now I don't totally understand why they have tops and bottoms here. This piece needs to be flipped. This piece wants to stay the way it is, right? Ah, hang on have to enter from here. That was way easy. Oh. Yeah, that works. That was way easier than the previous level, I feel like. We have unlocked the next world. Oh, it's been 38 minutes. Uh, you know what? Let's not start this one yet. That was a little sneak peek for next time. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.